Hi, uh, welcome back. Um, first, sorry, the previous video had some issue with the voice and sound, so I'm redoing it now, and this is the new version. Uh, in general, I've gotten quite a lot of questions how I use the telemetry tool, and I will be, do some, be doing some uh, videos on how I use telemetry in different uh, uh, events, and this will be more about how I'm using it when I'm doing a practice. And, and for me, the practice is more like uh, in Formula 1, when you are doing the uh, career and then you have a practice or when you are practicing with a new car or new track in the automobiles to your ACC or whatever. So when you have something new, something you haven't really, you don't know how the car works and it's just like driving around and looking a little bit data. And this is how I use the telemetry tool in that kind of situations. And I'm starting now here. What we have is the Formula 1 2020 and something you can immediately recognize is that something which is new on 2020 is that there's a suggested gear, gear uh, data coming from the game if you have enabled that in the assist so you have the manual gears and assist uh, suggested gear so you will get the number and this which I'm actually showing here is that which gear you are supposed to take the next turn this is quite handy like for example with the 2020 when there was the new few new tracks like Vietnam and and, and Sandboard so it was more like uh, good learning when you're driving around looking at which gear you should be on on which turns if you really don't know but what if you have what you've done before and of course it's quite different to drive in a Formula one or than a gt3 car in sandwars so that's a quite handy thing to turn it on when you're dri driving and testing and uh, a new track in Formula one 2020 uh the things that i'm looking at normally when i drive they start driving and I look at the temperature. So here's the uh, carcass temperature and the surface temperature. And this is a good thing. You never know how your setup might be. So it might be that you're doing some little changes to setup. So this is a good easy way to just look at while you're driving what's happening with the tire pressures and also the temperatures in, in the in the tires. And, and there's some other information. You can also, when you start driving, get this uh, uh, sort of a graph on your G-forces where they are. And this will sort of slowly accumulate over time and then you can also make a print of that but this is what i do with the formula 1 2020 i just drive around this uh driving fee uh, view looking a little bit uh what's going on in the basic numbers i don't really really dive into the telemetry at this point so i'm just driving around looking at what's going on uh one thing actually will notice that this is for the formula 2020 there's some information not that much a little bit of the uh engine temperature some of the damages but then if we go into the AMS2 so automobiles to your projected cars too if you're using the new shared memory uh, relay as uh, with the tool then you will get a lot of more data and you can see that with the AMS which gives out more data there's the information about the tire temperature so there's the rim air layer tread and temp normal temperature and also what I'm actually doing now when uh, with the shared memory that you get more fractions on the tire wear so i'm actually showing here you can decide how many fractions you will be shown on that this is quite a good thing which i'm not using quite a lot with automobiles too when i'm driving the all the different cars and trying to just see how my driving affects uh the tire wear so i'm actually looking at this number where you can see that it's just when you get the five digits you can really see how you're turning on or accelerating how it's affecting the tire wear and that is quite handy thing to do when you are just getting used to a new car new truck seeing where you get more tire wear and how you sort of can start driving to adjust and make sure that the tire wear stays in a, a, a nice uh, or in, in control and also you can look at the tire temperatures and making sure that everything stays stays in the same and same here you can see i will drive a little bit more in the ibarra reverse it's the first time with the uh, bmw there and just seeing a little bit okay here you can see that i, I was just just driving around but this just gives you an idea the where the when you're driving what's happening there and then if you look at the same view with for acc and you can see that there's much less data because there's only the surface temperature for the tires but there's the brake temperature and tire pressures for actually acc i'm typically, typically just looking at the tire uh, pressure making sure that the tire pressures stay in the same in the in the correct window and if they don't then i have to make changes in, in the setup by making sure that they for me the tire pressures stay in in the same level and then you can sort of see a little bit things one thing you can notice with the ams2 actually added here and this is same for project cars there's the torque 
which is the new data on there and this is quite handy just looking at when you have to really start when you have to change gears with a new car and you never really know what what's happening there and there's also the power how much power is this and you can see it's negative now because i'm actually uh, uh slowing down so that means that there's negative uh, powers there and this is what i do with practice but the other thing that i'm also looking at when i'm driving around in the practice i'm also looking at the statistics it just give me it gives me a nice idea there's the current lap and the best lap of the like here's the fastest lap i've driven, driven there and then you have the statistics for the session this is quite handy but then you can get here especially seeing the tire temps you can see the range of the tire temperature so there's the front left front right rear left and rear right and you can see the tire temperature what's the range where the tire temperatures have been and also what's the average and this gives you the minimum maximum and the average and this gives you an idea that where your tire temps are uh sort of uh, floating around and gives you an idea if you need to do something for that to uh, reduce or increase the tire pressures and stuff like that other thing what I, which is nice is that you can i've added here is that you can see the fuel usage so basically how much fuel you've been using with this car and it's sort of a good thing to sort of start of slowly understanding that how much fuel you are using with different cars and different tracks and this gives you a easy way when you need to count, measure how much fuel you actually will put in the car and look into that there's some other things like the free how much free roll you have had the distance also for the each lap and and also on the how much you're braking and are you actually on full brake or are you just like you can see that on brake i think almost 25 percent but then on full brake only five percent of the time so that gives you a little bit feeling that how are you using the controls and uh, a little bit sort of diving into uh, building the understanding of what's happening with the car uh same thing uh also i use the map of course here you can see with the map when you have the multiple lap lines visible you can see where you've been driving and how and you can start when you really start pushing and learning and see how well you how consistently you're driving you can see my line is all over the place like here the braking went too far too long and just but it's a good way of learning looking at the map what you've been doing on on your driving on that car on that track and that's the thing i'm not if i'm really looking into other data there's also in the race info uh, I'm actually taking this one. You can see, okay, let's see if you have something here. So when you're driving around, you get also the lap times, but then there's some extra data. So is this uh, the average for proper laps? So that's the means a uh, proper lap when it's not, it's a valid lap and not a pit lap or uh, in the Formula 1 2020, not a, a safety car lap, then uh, you get the proper lap. And there's some nice data there. And then you can also the standard deviation, which actually for me, that's a quite, good number i'm trying when i'm trying to be very consistent um looking at the times and if the standard deviation is is small then you know that the lap times are not varying that much and you can sort of try to focus on like for five laps making sure that you really really get times to be the same and then you know that you're being quite consistent over driving same thing for acc you really want to be conscious because there's a lot of benefit on on being a consistent over many laps and that, that's a good thing because you can get the standard deviation that immediately tells you that might be that your second sector is is nice but it might be that your first sector is all over the place so then you know that you really have to focus on on the first sector driving on the first sector there and that's those are things that i'm looking when i'm just practicing and learning the new track and a little bit trying to understand what what's happening there but these are the things that i'm looking on just driving around and learning a new truck new track or new car and and, and this is it's quite easy way of just looking at the data a little bit, getting a feel of the data, but not really dive into the telemetry or anything. Just looking at general uh, trends and what's happening. Especially, the good thing is that when you look at the driving, look at the temperatures, see a little bit what's happening there on the temperature side, and say especially with the with the AMS where you get lots of more data, you can look at the temperature, you can really look at the tire wear, and also there's also the brakes damage, so you can really see how you're braking is after affecting the brake damage and this is with the automobiles to and uh, project cars to where you get this data but this is a very simple way how i look into the data just when i'm practicing and just having kind of having fun and getting used to driving so no serious analysis or anything just looking at the data and trying to understand what's happening so, so this is the way i do i hope you enjoyed this and uh, talk to you later bye